First time anyone actually saw Mr. H. On and that all other species are simply food. Adam's apple is chirping like a canary. People were trying to figure out whether it was Stephen Reese Lewis. This was the silliest group meeting I've ever seen. He sounds just like Sam Lee. This is more than just figuring out who Mr. H is, that this is actually Stephen Reese Lewis. People are trying to mimic Mr. H. But I'm not wrong about hibernation being a Ponzi scheme, okay? No lip movement. Is he an AI? His mouth's moving now. I wonder if he's got false teeth. No, he's definitely got a grill on or something like that. Do we have a, a bad hair moment? Yeah, well, at least we know it's not Kalpish Patel because he wouldn't have the hair there, would he, eh? Well, it's not Mick that Mr. Potato Head, is it? Maybe he's a complete AI. Remember, this is the company that's making up shit on the go. Scam the scammers. I don't know if you can say a skinny white guy. Squid Games and Money Heist. This is what a modern day bank robber looks like. Panicky Nark says, it's like Hotel California. You can check in, but you can never leave. Hello, welcome to the Danny DeHeck YouTube channel. A lot of people keep asking me, who is Mr. H? Do you know who he is? I'm like, oh, I don't really care. And then people say to me, do you think it's Stephen Reese Lewis? Do you think it's Keith Williams? And I have to say, look, I don't really know. Then I thought, boy, Danny, you've always wanted to be a private investigator. What would a private investigator do, like the FBI, if they wanted to find out who Mr. H was. They'd probably download over 100 videos of their YouTube channel and go through them bit by bit and looking at all the evidence that we had about Mr. H and see whether they can get some consistencies or some flaws in their production. And I thought to myself, I've got a life. I can't spend the time doing that. But you guessed it. It's exactly what I've been doing all day. It is now about 20 to 11 in the evening and I'm still going to record this after spending a whole day researching who Mr H is and I want to share what I found with you. Now let's just say I was a private investigator. So what I did is I broke down the investigation into four parts and I'm going to read them to you. So first thing we'll do, we'd look at Mr H, him and himself and you know, as Mr H. I've noticed that when he wears a mask, you can see his throat. So we're looking at throat color. We're looking at the texture of the throat. Then every now and again, they let his wrists show through. Hmm, not much to go from, is there? However, wrists are different colors, and sometimes, if they're like mine, they're hairy. I can't see any hairs on his. And then I'm also looking at his mannerisms. Um, you know, some people, even I got taught to do a lot of public speaking and the first thing they teach you is talk with your body and I've got this terrible habit of putting my right leg behind my left leg when I am speaking so I was looking for you know mannerisms the way he carries himself I was looking for the gestures that he does because sometimes they are over exaggerated and then his presence everyone has a presence about them so I was looking at that we're checking out things like body weight and his stance, uh, body height, whether he had five fingers or six fingers. You never know. And the way people rest their hands. So I don't know if you notice that people sit there and they talk with the fig leaf. Or they might sit there with their fingers or their hands open like that. So when we're looking at him in his full length, we can identify. Because what I'm trying to look at to see whether it's the same person, whether it's an AI or a generated voice um, that he's using, or whether they really are reading off a teleprompter. As I, when I've noticed that they haven't been speaking, um, they have just been standing there, and the words have been coming up on the screen, and that may explain why he's good at gesturing because he doesn't have to worry about speaking at the same time. So I notice that because this Adam's apple that he had isn't moving when the words are coming out. Now, they also seem to be reading, I say they, uh, reading from a teleprompter because I've got a terrible habit of saying arms and so and ands and all the filler words seem not to be present. So that's something I'm looking for when I'm reviewing the next hundred videos with you. Swaying around on the stage, he's got this 
thing that he sways around when he talks. And also, he is sometimes making full use of the stage and other times he is not, which led me to thinking maybe uh, there is two or three people who are Mr. H. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the last two or three videos that have come out, they've really altered his voice a lot. And it got me wondering whether he is an AI or it's computer-generated voice. And I'm sure with the right technology, which the FBI would have, they would be able to figure out whether it's a digital voice or a human voice. But the big question, ladies and gentlemen, why are they so hell-bent in hiding his identity? Is it actually Sam Lee? Is it Ryan Jew? Why is it Stephen Reese lewis It's definitely not Keith Williams, and I don't think it's Kalpesh Patel. So that's the first thing we were going to look at. I was going to look at him as a person and his mannerisms and all those things I just said, and I'll put them on a screen over to the right halfway through. Now I'm looking at his clothing. Now, do they have a studio that they run all these videos out of? Are they, do they have a, like a stage, um, a, you know, studio clothing that they grab all the time? Are they always using the same clothing? clothing? Are they consistent is what I'm really getting at. I noticed that he has a, a, a button on one of his jackets, and I've been checking that out at all the videos I've been watching to see if they use the same jacket every time. Um, the style of clothing they're wearing, what country are they trying to say they're from? Is it Chinese? Is it Malaysian? Is it uh, American? Are they filming all these in America? We wouldn't really know for sure, would we? Also, I've noticed sometimes he wears a cloak, and that's a dark green, and then other times it looks black. And that could be done um, post, post, uh, in post work when they're uh, editing. Gloves. His gloves have um, sort of like a, um, you know, a texture on the front and smooth on the, on the back. Um, and I notice he doesn't do his tie up in some of the things all the time, which makes me wonder because I've noticed that the bit from under here, the under here, is often looks like a bit of plastic and I can't see any texture. And as I said, the Adam's apple doesn't seem to be moving at all. Uh, and his shirt's not buttoned right up, and I'm thinking that's got something to do with it. These are the things I've come up with in the last 10 hours. And as I said, does he have stage clothes? Do they use the same clothes over and over again? And if they did, then you would assume that they're using a recording studio. So what have I actually put in my notes? So if this was consistent, then you would assume they are filming from some studio each time. Now, the other thing I'm noticing after downloading all these videos, some of the video resolutions are different. Some are 4K, most of them are 1080, but there are some that are 720p. Now, why is that the case? Have they been in a hurry to get them online? Or are they using different studios? Or is someone learning this as they go because their video, video quality is getting better and better? And as a YouTuber, I do a lot of editing, and you see the style of the editing changing, and either they're outsourcing this to a studio, and if so, what studio, or there's some clever bastard who is learning as he goes, and he's getting better and better. So after watching all these videos, oh, I've wrote sentence here, I'm going to read it, after watching so many videos, I can see that being, they've been edited different, either they're learning on the job, or they have a team of people who are they're outsourcing it to, or is it in... It is it in house, and how big is their team? So if it is in house, where is the location of the studio? They've got um, better lighting, the sound quality all the way through this video. I'm about to go through with you. The sound is pretty much consistent, but it does have a few of the videos that the sound is higher, and that would often mean that they're using different people to edit it, because if it was one person, one company and uh, they would often have the same sound level all the way through, but it is different. So that's making me think that this isn't actually, um, you know, one person. It, to me, it looks like they're getting better at editing as they go. They're learning on the job. Also, the studio, one of my other videos I showed, the, the idiot was wearing mirror glasses, and we could see the studio. And then the other idiot was wearing dark glasses, and we could see that the, the reflection in the glasses of the studio and it seemed like a different studio so it's led me to thinking that they are recording this in different places so imagine they've got a couple maybe three studios because when Stephen Reese Lewis 
was reading off a teleprompter. He was using a green screen and originally started off just with a plain wall behind him. Now, if you don't know what a green screen is, take a look at my green wall. I can just put a picture up there, change it. But to do that, I need to have pretty good lights in my face and I also have to have my green screen uh, lit up so it's nice and even. All right, so let's go to workshop mode, say goodbye to my notes. And what we're going to do is we're going to start listening and watching Mr. Um, um, all the different things along the way to see if we can spot the differences. And I'll show you what I've found out as I go. There has been growing concerns over the decline of democracy. And some... So this video here was the very first time anyone actually saw Mr. H on a video. And everyone was a bit shocked, to be honest, that this is the the direction that hypernation was going. Countries are increasingly unsatisfied with how democracy is working. In human so we're listening to the voice, we're listening to, you know, consistency or not being consistent. And I'm looking at the neck and I'm looking at the, uh, the wrists and I'm also looking at the shoulder, the shoulders, because I believe there's three different people in these videos. ...are at the top of the food chain or that we have the mandate to claim all of Earth's resources and that all other species are simply food for our table. You feel the unfairness permeating the world, although we all seem to put in an equal amount of effort. Some people... Um, now, here, if you look at his throat, I'll go a bit closer, you can see that he's got a kind of a Adam's apple and it does look like it's a real voice. And if you look through the hole in the mask, I think you can see lip movement. Now, if I was mimicking this, I would still have lip movement to make it all more authentic. Just easily gain power. The General Assembly of the United Nations adopted. You can see definitely his Adam's apple is chirping like a canary. A milestone document aimed at safeguarding the fundamental. Hypernation advocates justice, fairness, and transparency which fully now i don't know if you noticed then but his jaw actually come right down uh, below the mask now the reason i'm going through all this sort of stuff is i want you to sort of get to know mr h because we get a new video and we don't see the subtle differences but when you back them all up the 100 or 80 odd videos i've chopped up this afternoon for your benefit it's easier looking at them from start to finish and looking at the differences but this one, you can definitely see that he is actually talking. Bodies the principles of decentralized finance. And I am Mr. H. You can say that I'm an evangelist in the New World Order. Now, when I saw this video, people were trying to figure out whether it was Stephen Reese Lewis. The only real giveaway for this was the fact that he was a twat and he has his button done up. Or maybe even a guide that helps you to illustrate the truth. But it may be more appropriate to say that I'm the person you used to be. Just like many of you, I used to obey the oppressive rules of society in order to survive. Now in this video, his tie is a little bit crooked, but he does look like he's got his shirt buttoned up. But in videos to come, you will see that uh, not quite done up as tight. And I'm wondering if they're actually trying to cover up his neck for some reason. Maybe he's covering tattoos. Sure. That was more. This was the silliest group meeting I've ever seen. Chris Hector didn't look like he could get his green screen going and he's on the phone trying to work it out with support by the sounds of it. And I don't even think these guys are all meeting from the same, um, obviously meeting from Zoom. Now, let me elaborate more. Hypernation is an entire nation. Now his voice is quite different there. I don't want to bore you too much. But I want you guys to think about it. When he first opens his mouth, he sounds, oops, he sounds, he sounds just like Sam Lee. And I hopefully I've got enough sound for you. Sure. That was more. Now, let me elaborate more. Hypernation is an entire nation. So there are plenty of wonderful activities held within. Now, the voice is completely different once again. But it would be very hard for them to, uh, you know, do this filming if it wasn't live or, you know, they must have been speaking this in real words. And I think they are using computer generated voices. But in this particular clip, it seems to be real voice. Now, where do we start? 
since hibernation is big on world building. When traversing the metaverse, we do it in style. So is that an Asian voice? Is it a Chinese voice? Indonesia? Is it American? Who knows? What do you think? Put your comments below. Tell me what you think. Uh, I want your theories because people will help break who these people are. This is more than just, you know, uh, this is more than just figuring out who Mr. H is. This is actually figuring out who the production company it is. It is, you know, who's making these videos. I mean, there'll be someone probably paid thirty or fifty dollars an hour to be uh, an editor. Um, no doubt they're watching these videos. Made out, no doubt they're watching this video. Let's figure out who these people are and break who Hypernation is and where they're operating from. Mr. H is the Chief Ambassador of Hyper Nations. His background is in marketing, fintech and business growth. So when they said fintech and marketing, I believe they said that because they wanted to bamboozle people into thinking that this is actually Stephen Reese Lewis. Because Stephen Reese Lewis was the paid actor that no one's ever seen and I've put a $100 reward on it if he turns up. You tell me where he is, I'll give you a hundred bucks. It's rocket, but he hasn't turned up. So then he's disappeared, no doubt about it. Now you've got Mr. H, who's got a mask, hiding his identity, and they're telling you that he has a background with fintech. And that's exactly what Stephen Reese Lewis was alleged to be as well. So is this what they're, they're just, obviously they're lying about everything, but is this what they're trying to make people believe that Stephen Reese Lewis? is actually Mr. H. Obviously, I don't think he is. Thank you for having me. It is an absolute honor to be invited to speak here today. Because Mr. H has obviously gone to religious camp and now he's, you know, doing the, I don't know, what, respect thing. And that's how he talks. And he talks very well with his hands. He's got great stage presence, but it changes because later on you'll see he talks a lot faster with his hand and it sort of starts to get a bit like this. And I don't know why he's changed. People are trying to mimic Mr. H. Wouldn't you be insulted? Be it the Great Recession of... Now, I know this is being picky, but if you look at his neck here, um, can you see there is actually a line under here? Um, I can't know. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but there actually looks like he's got some sort of neck collar on and his Adam's apple does not move. 1932. The financial crisis in 2008. This seems to be the case in both socialistic... No, it might be moving. Could be wrong. Have been wrong a couple of times. And cap... But I'm not wrong about hibernation being a Ponzi scheme, okay? ...tolistic countries. It's simple. All they have to do... You can definitely see that line. If you zoom that up on your computer, you'll see a line under... Just under here. It's like he's got my hoodie on. Is head straight to WW. Oh, it might be a t shirt. Who knows? We're getting desperate now. W.hypernation.io to register for the whitelist. Do not do that, okay? This is a scam. Thanks. Focuses on the core idea. All right, you can see that he's quite well lit up in this scene. He's probably got lights. And if you look at his neck once again, you can see it's white and it does look like it's a bit of plastic under there or something like that. And look for his lips movements. Of economic consensus. No lip movement. An economic system should not be... Is he an AI? ...under the control of any entity or individual. And no one should dictate what you... Oh, his mouth's moving now. wonder if he's got false teeth. ...rightfully decision firmly believes that blockchain technology can achieve the principles of fairness, justice, and openness that form the basis of human rights. And hibernation... Now, he's definitely got a grill on or something like that. Hey, just while we're there, I want you to have a look at my picture. Exposing hibernation's Mr. H. I'm doing my best. The person behind the mask revealed. And if you look at the picture along the bottom, these are all the VIP fives, which if they move over to hibernations, they now can be upgraded to VIP sevens. And these are people that have scammed millions of dollars out of people. Now, these videos are all about name and shaming people who have been actively promoting these Ponzi schemes. This is originally derived from a company called uh, Hyper Tech Group. And they started up a Ponzi scheme called Hyper Capital. It got labelled as a Ponzi scheme, so they rebranded it to Hyper Fund. 
and then they changed it from hyper fun to hyper versed and that's when it really got amazing power behind it and everyone was in investing with their crypto and they were promising 300 uh, times in return in your investment within 600 days or given to you in rewards and then it all went pear-shaped uh, multiple accounts were created crypto took a, a dive and they couldn't sustain the payments and everyone hates them now and then They've done a rinse and repeat and started up as Hyper Nation. So that's the basic story. Watch my other 120 videos. My goal is to name and shame people who are actively promoting this. And I need your help. It's simple. You can hit the thumbs up. That's the first thing you can do. You can provide a comment. What do you think about this video? What do you think about the theory of Hyper Nations? My video just before this one's getting some really good comments. So thank you very much to my subscribers. The other thing you can do is you can subscribe, hit the bell, you'll be notified when new videos come out. Those three things make a huge difference to a YouTuber. It helps YouTube know that you like my videos and they'll send them out. And they'll send them out to people and we'll be able to save a lot of people from getting bitten by these Ponzi schemes. So I need your help. It's a click of a mouse, but it all makes a difference. One person, two people, three people, and YouTube will go, we love Danny. <laughs> anyway, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to carry on um, doing uh, watching these things. But if you look at that there, that there's a really good picture of, um, hopefully I can double click on that without losing it. But you can see under his collar, it looks like he's wearing a priest guard or something. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he's wearing something that I don't know. But anyway, let's carry on. The lofty oh, and also his skin color. He's got no hairs on his arms. ...on the blockchain to bring you the best investment experience with results that are fair, equitable, and open. Blockchain allows any... So is it... What type of clothes is he wearing? Remember, we're going through the list. I'm just going to move my list over to the side. Uh, one second, please, caller. Uh, and then um, we'll carry on while I'm doing that one to participate on an even playing ground its consensus mechanism ensures that there are no while we generally only associated with digital currencies blockchain technology is more than that as blockchain technology continues to mature more digital currencies with varying utility have been created ubi in the blossoming world of blockchain technology hypernation has chosen to adopt the concept of ubi as its foundational core upholding an Hope you guys don't get depressed by watching this because they do paint a real picture of uh, doom and gloom. And many of you know that I used to be a Jehovah's Witness. And I was brought up um, as a Jehovah's Witness. I got kicked out when I was 23. But we used to have ministerial servants, elders, circuit overseers and Bethelites coming and standing on the stage and preaching to us. And honestly, we used to believe everything that came out their mouth was true. And um, it was amazing. And the reason why I, I stick my neck out so much for these Ponzi schemes is they're targeting often the black African community who have um, little knowledge of crypto and they're going after them. And they're also looking for people who have faith in God and they seem to be um, going after that market. I don't know why, but uh, for some reason you guys love um crypto opportunities and get rich quick schemes and they really are offering you a quick get rich quick scheme that's not going to work and they give you false hope so just bear in mind if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to crypto investments don't do anything easy peasy uh, keep your money in the bank because your money is secured in the bank it won't disappear quickly if you're rich and you've got so much money then make sure you give me a donation Important point mentioned in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It's the wave of automation, and the result is a gradual erosion of employment opportunities as manual labor gets replaced by machines. Blockchain has reached the point where we can choose a new way of... Yeah, I'm still looking. So what I'm saying is what we're looking through here, guys, is we're looking at, um, you know, throat color, wrists, his mannerisms, gestures, his presence, body weight, you know, the shoulder width, his stance whether he's got um, six fingers or five, the way he rests his hands, Adam Apple, it looks like they've covered that up. The speed of his voice, obviously that's going to be governed by a teleprompter. He's not using any filler words, so he's a very good public speaker, better than me. And he's in this video, he's not swaying around, but in other videos he who does. So what I'm suggesting here is that Mr. H is actually um, 
two or three people. Life. Hypernation uses NFTs. And the gloves, while well, we've got them there, um, they've sort of got those sort of uh, uh, gri grips on the gloves. So that's what we've got to go on at the moment. And obviously, I don't know what attire is wearing, what country he's trying to represent. And the hemming around the hat does not look too good. As proof of citizenship to create a utopian world where every citizen can reach any... See, he's got white arms, so we know it's not Keith Williams. ...country at will, without going through tedious custom processes as in real life. Slavery may have officially ended on December 8th. So I reckon Mr. H has lost a lot of weight in this photo, so I reckon this is another person. 1865, but did it ever truly end? Slavery is all around us. The rich get richer. Oh, I hate this saying because this is using quotes out of the Bible. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Um, and they're playing on people's religious beliefs. So they, they think they're in the same boat, but you're not. This one's sinking. While the rest of us slips further and further down into the ways of economic decline, the problems of tomorrow can often be solved by the wisdom of the past. Looking back. Now this guy does not have the same gesture skills as what I call Mr. H number one. So why would they be switching him around? Is it because they're filming in different locations? That could be a possibility. Did Mr. H get COVID and is home sick? We can observe the Greeks who were once the pinnacle of human civilization. They owe it to all great minds who debated tough questions. Can you guys spot anything else that I'm missing? Please put them in the comments. It'll be interesting to know, you know, what type of studio would they need to record like this? I know it's all green screen stuff, but I've got a green screen behind me and I can't get the same look unless I've got a dedicated room. Are they hiring a studio somewhere? If so, what country? Is there any telltale signs? Are the ceiling lights made? You know, how can we figure out stuff? In the Agora of Athens, also known as the birthplace of democracy. Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. This guy's lips are not moving. We are all aware of existing defects within our social structure, which is prevalent even in first world countries. This is an extremely controversial topic, perhaps even rightfully so. Our social status affects multiple facets. Um, I'm just watching the hand movements here and he doesn't have the same stance as um, Mr. H. Now I've got a double screen here, so I'm just pointing out some of the things that I'm, I'm looking at. Um, I'll just see if I can make this a little bit smaller so you can see it uh, and see, you know, if you can notice anything I've missed. We'll get this bastard. ...of our lives. From our ability to access quality healthcare, can you feel the magic in the... Ooh, there's a good arm shot. Tell you what, when you've been doing this all afternoon, you certainly know what to look out for. But this would probably be a slip-up. Now, his gown, I know this is small stuff, is a completely different colour. Now, that we'll be able to figure this out by looking at the mask as well. Now, if it is a different colour, to me, it would say that they're filming it in two different studios. Or perhaps they've got two different colour gowns. A black one and a green one. Maybe he does like to be fashionable. Air. Right now, as we advance towards a new age of information technology, it is hard not to marvel at the endless possibilities that it can confer. While some of us are excited about this change. Definitely not as good as gesturing as Mr. H number one. Many more are fearful of it, and for good reasons. Now, he's not swaying around. Now, this is a forensic investigation. Normally, I'd have 50 of my colleagues sitting behind me and I'd have a great big screen and would be scrutinizing all this stuff. But at the moment, we've just got Danny DeHeck's YouTube channel doing his own private investigation, FBI. So when I'm looking at this guy, he's walking up and down the stage. Now, the other Mr. H will often sway back and forth and you'll see him in a seesaw mode. So this is Mr. H number two. There are many disadvantages that can arise in this new age. Unprepared. Mankind is complicated. I reckon this is Mr. H number one. It is full of glory and triumph, but there are also plenty of events that may make you uncomfortable. A brief study of our history. Now I'm looking at the uh, shirt. However, it's a very loose shirt or he's got a really skinny neck. But in other films, we will see his neck will be tight around the collar. And one, one of them, he can't even get it done up and his tie's hanging down. Show you many momentous milestones. From our early days of nomadic gap, the world around us has never been shaped by blood and violence. Never has a... That's Mr. H number two. Day gone by without us hearing about crime. And I think his hair 
is actually sticking out a little bit on the top of that video. Am I correct? Do we have a, a bad hair moment? Let's have a look. Bring them up. Can we see here at the top? It looks like it. Uh, well, at least we know who's has um yeah well at least we know it's not Kalpish Patel because he wouldn't have the hair there would he yeah well it's not Mick the Mr Potato Head is it no we, at least we narrowed it down and it's definitely not Stephen Rees look well he's got hair corruption war and famine being reported on the news we live life feeling secure see this is where I I'm looking at the place where the the mouth goes and it does look like it's got a a bit of plastic that's stopping you seeing his mouth talking but I can't figure it out, so any help would be appreciated. Because these tragedies happened far away from us and waited outside the school for an hour while the shooter was slaughtering innocent kids within. Take God, it's doom and gloom. Technology has always been the catalyst for change. Skinny, this is number two. M Mr. H, number two, he's, he's not as... His shoulders are more round and they're not as square. And he looks like he's got tons of clothes on and his hoodie's on again. Look towards the Catholic Church that held dominion over the Middle Ages thanks to their monopoly over scriptures and information. Their power waned when... I don't know if you noticed, but the quality of this video is at 720. Um, that, as I was saying earlier on, uh, when you go back to my double screen, there's a few other things we're looking at. We're looking at the clothing, we're looking at the media and the, the uh, video resolution, and also the lighting, the sound, and also the green screen. Um, you can see the way that he's cut out isn't quite as good. And um, if we can see the very last presentation is when they did the last re um, hibernation release, the quality was a lot better. So it, it does lead me to think that they're using a different studio. The printing press was invented as the mass production of virtualization and realize your true potential in the lands beyond. Built on the foundations of block. So he's using the stage, and that's something we got taught. Is used. Like I used to go to Toastmasters as well, and they used to give you four corners of the stage, and they recommended that you try to use the full stage. Now this guy is using the full stage, but Mr. H number one seems to hover back and forth and sway. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. H. Hi that's number one. Nations ambassador. The topic we're going to discuss today may make you a little uncomfortable in our daily lives. Democracy and nationality are among the most complicated and difficult. Even though politicians and idealists all talk about economic freedom and equality, the distribution of resources... I'm Mr. H. Hypernations. Different voice, notice that. And he's dressed up with his lovely costume, and it looks black to me today. Oh, and he's got... Oh, he hasn't got mirror glasses on, has he? No. Official ambassador. The topic we'll be discussing today... But if you look at his neck... It doesn't make sense. Whose neck looks like that? Is the analysis of politics. And also, while we're there, sorry, I'll keep interrupting, is the way that it ties across the top of the neck, the other guy hasn't got the gap. So I'm assuming this version of Mr. H is a bit bigger than the other Mr. H number two. In the information age, and sell the country out to the highest bidder just to line their pockets, which would often result in a weakened country plagued with low economic... Hi everyone, I'm Mr. H, Hypernation's Publicity Ambassador. Today we're going to discuss the topic of beyond geographical... Conf Honestly, he's not talking here, he's just mimicking the sound that's been played in the studio. And also it seems a little bit out of sync, that's not me this time. <laughs> um, but in saying that, um, I've got to click again, that helps me uh, keep it in sync. I look for the high pitch... Um, clicks sound anyway let's carry on alignment the rise of the internet economy only then can we make full use of the notice he's swaying around this time so this is mr h number one achievements of other civilizations to grow and create a comprehensive stop swaying when i do that sway mr h sway interdependence relationship between every participant in this nation have a practical connection with the production of the whole world and can obtain the ability to utilize. Maybe he's a complete AI. Maybe there's no such thing. Maybe the, the, these little bastards have come up with the ultimate. You know, Mr. H is not real and he's just an AI. This comprehensive. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. H, Hypernation's publicity ambassador. Today we're going to discuss the topic of Twilight of Democracy. 
democracy. Now, I think this is Mr. H number one because he's he looks a bit beefier. Uh, I'm looking for the shoulders and to see whether they are more rounded or more square. His are normally more square, Mr. H number one. ...is about distributing the power of the dominator. The result is that every democracy will eventually collapse due to easy fiscal power. I don't know. The stance of this guy does make me wonder if we've just seen Mr. H number three come out on the stage because this guy here looks like he's the same size as Mr. H number two. But it does actually look like he's a bit different build than both of them. So this could be Mr. H number three. I'm going to go with three for now. ...and be replaced by authoritarian regimes that follow. Prophet nor a doomsayer. But yeah, I'm this sure. guy, I'm not sure of, man. You know, either he's wearing a white shirt with a black skivvy underneath it, which would mean he's very hot under the lights he's standing under, or that is the end of the neck guard. I'm not sure. I quite like the attire, I must say. It's quite classy. And he's got grey gloves on this time. But he hasn't got a shirt done up. So these are things that he, maybe he should have done. Mr H, you should have your shirt done up and maybe a tie senior representing the hypernation. That blood and <gasps> he's on fire! No! Fire lies ahead. And the threat is growing by the day. The world is progressing towards a scenario reminiscent of the financial crisis. Now, notice the sound quality is a little bit lower. That is not me playing tricks with my um, Zoom Potrack P8. It is actually as it's coming out of the YouTube. So if you lined up 100 YouTube videos like I did this afternoon, because I don't have a life, and played them all, they're all at different volumes, which is telling me that these are recorded by different people, uh, or someone's learning like I am on the go. ...clashing with the government and will provide a comprehensive suite of applications and tools required to help you expand on your creativity and transcend your mortal limitations. In the past, we talked about how there would be major changes in the job and billionaire. So this is quite good. Could we get to see the full length of him? If somebody was clever enough, they could measure his height from start to finish and work out whether his arms are the same length. But I, it's very hard to find something to gauge it on. Attain their wealth by being lucky? No, the fact is that they recognize when opportunities are in front of them and leverage their skills. This is Mr. H, ambassador of hibernation. Today we will discuss the theme of globalization. I reckon they're all having a go at this. They're all in the studio and they think, oh, have a go at being Mr. H. Oh, I want to be Mr. H. Let me have a go. And how different nations have achieved it to varying degrees of success. All individuals will be able to act. Oh, that's a good shot of the neck. Act in accordance to their own will and achieve greatness like never. This is Mr. H, the publicity ambassador of hibernation. Today. Now, this does not look like the Mr. H1 or 2. I think this is 3. And he just looks, his clothes are too big for him. And if they all were in the same wardrobe, that would even make it easier for people like me to figure out whether there's three Mr. H's. We will discuss the topic of power decomposition. Power decomposition. Mustn't get involved. There's no storyline here. We're just investigating Mr. H. And the law of diminishing marginal return in the wrong positions and send the best people to the most common tasks. Even if all the work can be achieved within the expected, but off See, the hand gestures are not the same as the original Mr. H. They're all just waving their arms around, and it's just not the same. ...and cannot play the best production one. Only by reaching an agreement can we fully exercise the right to supervise and participate. Plug the corrupt for the human soul to crave spiritual peace. Something that cannot be attained as long as the world remains divided by imaginary borders. As long as borders exist, humanity will come to one. This is Mr. H. Yeah, Mr. H number one. See, if you've watched them and chopped them all up back to back, you can get a feel for who's speaking next. So I'm convinced there's three Mr. H's. H, ambassador of hibernation. This one looks like he likes eating a little bit more McDonald's than the other ones. Or maybe it's KFC? Today we will discuss the theme of globalization. Aren't we lucky? how different nations have achieved it to varying degrees of success. Before we begin, what is global... I mean, but seriously, kids, do you want to invest in a company where the people won't front up? They do have a reason 
they've come up with just recently why they don't want people to see their face. But do you do business with anyone that doesn't show their face? Well, it is a term used to describe. Hi, I'm Mr. H, Ambassador for Hypernation. Today, we will discuss the theme of hegemonism. Hegemony is the plot. Now, I don't know if they've beefed, put a lot of bass into his voice. They've seemed to have slowed the speed of the teleprompter down. But to be honest, I think this is a different voice. And they've obviously played around digitally with the voice so much, it sounds really hard to listen to. And as I said, I haven't changed the volume of any of these clips. I've kept them all the same all the way through. So someone's doing something different to the voice on this one. Wait until you see the end. Political, economic and military predominance of one state, corruption, social divides and fear will cease to exist to confront inequality. Now notice he's sort of like, what do they call it, pacing on the stage? He's not swaying around. So he's either one, two, uh, no, he's either two or three, but I don't think he's number one. ...that have infiltrated every aspect of our lives. For the most part, income inequality has increased in most hyper nation. It's a special nation that exists to promote egalitarianism for the benefit of... Uh, I reckon they've put stuff under his cape to beef him out a little bit, and his clothes don't fit him properly. Just doesn't look right. All class, race, or gender shall no longer impede your rights. The virtual foundations of this great nation are built on a tough goal to achieve. Since young, we have been brainwashed by the media that... And now they're trying to brainwash you. Um, obviously, they've played around with the colours here, unless they've got different face colours. Have you guys watched Squid Games? It's brilliant. Make sure you watch it. Very much the same. Capitalism built the nation from the ground up through community governance and economic consensus, and we shall marvel as corrupt politics and evil capitalism cease to... Human greed is the cause of all our sufferings. I don't think this is the same guy. Um, the way, just the stance about him isn't the same guy. It does, I'm getting confused a little bit here. Um, what I should do is once I've filmed this video is actually play the whole lot without me talking in between it. Then you guys can fast forward and get a bit of view of it. I might actually just chuck the whole um, bits I've chopped up and put them at the end of this video um, so you can have a, a run from start A to Z, eh? Yes, the old to hunt down dangerous predators for self-preservation. Definitely a different voice. Is this a dream or a reality in the making? The utopia you seek exists. It is alive and even thriving. Hypernation incorporates collectivism. Remember, this is a company that's making up shit on the go. And I would believe that the people that actually are paid actors like Mr. H have probably done their time and moved on either because they found out they're working for a Ponzi scheme. I don't know. But if they have, this is probably why they've employed other people to come along. So if you saw an ad in the newspaper somebody advertising for an actor to pretend he's Mr. H and you filled out for it and you didn't get the job, can you please contact me? Because I'd be interested to know whether um, where that uh, ad was, uh, the job was. If you know what I'm saying, I want to know where the studio is. Help me, help me, help me. And note the subtle rot that runs deep within the belief that the true path to peace and prosperity yeah. Oops. Uh, mm. is paved by okay. Christian Frey. We're looking at the shirt and the tie uh, doesn't seem to go right to the top okay that's no good but it does seem quite loose around the neck which once again my argument is we've got three Mr H's here now if they're all using the same wardrobe then one would fit the shirt better than the other and at this particular moment it looks like this guy doesn't know how to put a tie on or the shirt is too tight for him and they've got that thing around their neck that's tucked into the shirt who knows, but it does look a bit different than other clips of Mr. H. One, two, or three. Love thy neighbours takes on a bigger meaning here. Oh, I hate this religious undertones they put through it. Love our neighbour as ourselves. Scam our neighbour and take his money and pray to God so we may get, um, what do they call it? Um, I don't know, saved as sickening. Think about this. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. H, Ambassador of Hypernation. Yeah, the voice is different again. Today, we are going to discuss a controversial topic. 
can human rights and capitalism ever be compatible? See, his shirt, ooh, his shirt um, doesn't fit quite right. Capitalism is the de facto social model in most parts of the world. We need a way to take care of the mud. Is it the same shirt? Um, buttons. I'm pretty sure those buttons were light last time, so this might be a new jacket. Maybe he's got a sports jacket with a hoodie. Now, there's a new opportunity for a fashion designer, a sports jacket that has a hoodie built into it. I've never seen one of those. Or is that what he is wearing? Are these custom-made clothes? Now, I know when I've been in Thailand, you can get a suit thrown up for you in a day if you want to. So maybe these guys are operating out of Thailand. What country are these clothes made from? Um, what style have they come? Because if you look at the hoodie, you can sort of tell it's not expensive. It sort of looks like a costume, you know, not made to last sort of style. But um, yeah, so what country tailoring do you think these are from? In the comments section. And Hyper Nation presents the perfect way to do so. Look at the world we are living right now. And these big pockets that you see on the front of the jacket, that style... I mean, I'm pretty trendy, I think. I've got a three or four suits in the wardrobe, but I don't think I would wear one with these big pockets. These pockets look like they're designed to put beer bottles in. Owning a house seems to be nothing more than a pipe dream, with housing prices far beyond what we can afford. This is crazy. People give me um, a bit of a hard time. And one lady the other day telling me that she's bought seven houses <laughs> and she's successful when I'm a failed businessman because I rent a house. You know i got a lady, my partner, she's had five houses and I've had five houses. I don't actually think your house is your best investment. Um, but here you are, Hyper Nation is advertising to people who can't afford to buy a house. So I'm their target audience. This is crazy. A hallmark feature. Now this looks like Mr. Hyper Nation number one because he looks a lot beefier. And I think the hoodie is built into the jacket, which is quite nice. Hyper Nation. Hyper Nation. We do not subscribe that competition can be done in a healthier manner for the optimal development Different voice of society. We may not see it, but the world we know is shifting slowly towards totalitarianism. This totalitarianism? What the hell? It's no good if you're dyslexic saying that word. ...are but the first few casualties in a world that is becoming more and more controlled. Ooh, no one likes to be controlled. That's why we don't like the traffic lights when we're driving down the road. Somebody told me to stop, and I'm not going to stop. Had this big accident, didn't I? Oh, because I thought I'd just do what I like and have no control in my life. Sounds great, Mr. H. But why is this and tyrants will not exist within the decentralized system of hypernation? When everyone has a voice in the system, everyone has the power to change. The now, I notice he's using, he's sort of trying to move around the stage a little bit, but he hasn't got that sway or the swagger that Mr. H number one has. So I kind of think this does look like more like Mr. H one, but I actually think this is Mr. H number three. Is there a Mr. H number four? Who knows? Maybe at the end. Destiny. When no one is in control, everyone is in control. Think about that. Hello, everyone. Now, this guy looks like he's eaten far too many McDonald's, doesn't he? So let's look at this guy. We've got um, back to the big jacket. Now, it does seem like Mr. H number one wears the big jacket. It's got one button. It's got the gloves that you can just see through, but it has got the rough texture on it. And uh, he does look like the biggest Mr. H. Maybe it's he's having a bad a fat day. Who knows? But he does look a bit bigger. So uh, that's great. Now make sure you subscribe to my YouTube videos. Please humor me. Um, place a comment. What do you think? Which one? How many Mr. H's is there? Three? Four? Maybe more. Are they paid actors? Is there a real Mr. H? Am I hurting his feeling by calling him fatty? Sorry. This is Mr. H, ambassador of Hyper Nation. Today, we are going to discuss the theme. Definitely an AI voice, I reckon. They've enhanced his voice. Doesn't sound like the original Mr. H. Of colonization. Wonder what I'd sound like as an AI voice. You should have. To keep the colonized nations permanently dependent on independence has been returned to this previously colonized. With regards to manufacturing, construction, to distribute resources and knowledge equally, giving everyone to be able to participate and learn in multiple roles. In Hyper Nation, all individuals will get fair and impartial treatment. Bad sound. So if they are learning how to do the sound on the fly, they're doing a pretty poor job of it. Needed a little bit more uh, travel, I think, in that one. Not so much bass. In all aspects, economics, resources, 
and even right. The bourgeois is equivalent to the middle or upper middle class. Power because we have no control over the means of production, our livelihood depending entirely. Lots of flashing lights in this one. On the label about it, we finally realize that our status in society is simply determined by the opportunity. Do you reckon they've got like four or five layers on underneath? And it's really, um, he's a real skinny guy, and they just change the layers so we're confused to Mr. H's and control over this resource. A natural tendency to submit to a higher authority. It is time to do away at this unfair treatment order. We understand that everyone should be treated equally autonomous individuals with our own lives, lifestyles, development, and some people. Obviously, the voice has gone haywire, but the one before, it did sound like the voice was different again. So the next three or four clips, which I've watched all day long for your pleasure, um, you can see they're definitely playing around digitally with the voice. Now, I think they're trying to evolve Mr. H actually into an arcade game. I think the whole hypernation is all about uh, gamify. And I think this is actually people who have bought NFTs are now realizing they've actually bought a ticket to go play a game, which is fantastic. And all the money that you've got is like monopoly money because it's going to be worth nothing, especially for the VIP fives who thought it was a good idea to buy a purple NFT for $10,000 to get your passport into the hypernation. And then they have to now invest in new membership plans. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen a Ponzi scheme do. Scam the scammers. Brilliant. Anyway, so Mr. H has got a completely different voice here. So keep listening and let's see what we learn from this. Now, this guy is, I don't know if you can say a skinny white guy, but anyway, he is. And he doesn't look the same as all the other ones. And his gloves fit very well. So they might have fitting gloves for the black gloves, but I did see them in grey gloves earlier on that were quite loose fitting. So I can only assume he's a different size and maybe a different person. And the studio quality does look pretty flash. So maybe they've got themselves a new studio. Maybe they couldn't afford to pay their studio bill and they got kicked out. Do you know whose studio these guys rent? Let us know in the comments section or go to my website and go to dehick.com and send me an email anonymously. And I won't tell anyone. It'll be our wee secret. But I'd love to know more about where Hyper Nation is operating from. Help me. Help you. Save the world. Danny Way. Danny's Way. Whatever that means. Such as Robert Owen. For real, and some Simon recognize this naturally. It's a phenomenon that will not be seen in hypernation. What the hell were they doing with the voice on this one? It's a completely different guy, isn't it? There's no jacket. It's just he's just wearing a hoodie, which they could have gone down to Kmart, if you've got Kmart, we have in New Zealand, and gone and got this costume and chucked it on. I think Mr. H has left the building. Number one has left the building. And now we've got, is this Mr. H number four? It does seem like a different guy whose transparency makes it impossible for deception to exist. And he is swaying around, which does have tendencies to look like Mr. H number one. But he could be mimicking that. And I'm looking now for movement of the uh, Adam's apple. Has he got an Adam's apple? Among everyone, at this virtues of utopian socialism is his harsh and thorough condemnation of the capitalism system. This criticism highlight the faults of capitalism and highlight the need for change. We live in a society that is granted. Right, so here's a full body view of Mr. H. I'm calling Mr. Four, number four. Now we've watched this over the, I think that we started watching these videos probably, oh, let me get it roundabout right, January, uh, February, February? When did Mr. Hypernation start coming out? Anyway, Let's say six months. Over the last six months, six months, four months. I think it's four months, actually. I remember seeing that number in my head somewhere. Boom, it's late at night. It is 20 to 12. Um, yes, so um, there's a the mannerism. You don't hear any mannerisms in there speaking, do you? No, you don't, because it's all read off a teleprompter. However, this skinny guy here really does look like Mr. H number four. Inequality. Is this not a testimony to the evilness of our capitalist society? Are we not exploited by them? It's a completely different guy. This is number four. I'm certain of it. Now, as I said, at the end of this video, I will play my clips in all their entirety without me talking. And I want your help to figure out who Mr. H is. So I want you to fast forward through those clips and listen to different things. And let's see if my calculation is right. Remember, we're looking for anything we can. We're forensic um, investigators doing what they do. Pretend that we have 
1.5 million people looking at this video thinking, is this Mr. H? Is he the same guy? Or do they have four Mr. H's? How can we prove there's four different ones? Because I know someone's comment is, you don't know what you're talking about. Mr. H is real. Well, I'm seeing four different people here. How about you? Do you feel the same way? But here comes the important question. How long will we stay established? Do without the meddling of the capitalist class to enrich your lives? Think for example, self-actualization. Let's invest in this company. This looks like a real gem. Seek liberation from the drudgery of working life. Then hibernation is undoubtedly. Now, just before we get started, I'm going to cruise into my video. Who is Mr. H? Exposing hibernations, Mr. H. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment. So, who is Mr. H? We're doing our own private investigation of Mr. H and to find out who he is. I need your help, so do hit the, the thumbs up button. It makes a huge difference. And we will, um, things that we are looking at when we go through this. Now, this looks to be the real Mr. H, so he's back for this. And uh, this was uh, only in the 22nd of August this was filmed. So we're looking for things like throat color, hair, wrist color, his mannerisms, gestures, presence, body weight, his stance, body height, whether he has five fingers or six. Is he from Earth? Um, how does he rest his hands? Are they fist? Are they rested? Is he fig-leafed? These things that we can see, we're looking to see if they're consistent all the way through because there's lots of, we've just found out there was no consistency and we think they've now got four Mr. H's. He's got an Adam's apple that you can see sometimes and not other times. So it looks like they have a screen down the front here. The speed of his voice, obviously they're using um, teleprompters so they can speed those up or slow those down. There's no filler words, so that does insinuate they're reading off teleprompters because I have lots of filler words. Um for example, and pausing. Pausing's great for impact. Swaying around on the stage, sometimes um, he's making full use of the stage. In this particular video, you'll see he sways back and forth, which we haven't seen in all the Mr. H's that we've looked at. Now we're looking at the clothing. This suit that he's wearing, I would wear it without the hoodie, but I love it. Um, the buttons on the jacket, the style, what country makes suits like this? Um, you've got some shots where it's black or green, who knows, and then you've got gloves, they're wearing gloves all the time, doesn't do his tie up, um, the shirt that he wears, uh, and his, are they stage clothes, are they the same clothes every time, it does look like they've been on three, or maybe, well three different um, studios, and then the media, I'm noticing that some of the resolutions are 4K, uh, most of them are 1080p, and there are a few 720p, which would insinuate to me, that they actually are recording this with different um, editor. Maybe it's a company, maybe it's in-house. If it's in-house, how many people are working for Hypernation? Can we use Mr. H's videos to bust where Hypernation is operating from? And now we have Keith Williams, who is now the uh, global sales uh Global sales representation. I can't. He's somebody important there now. That was a silly move, I reckon. Anyway, location. If the studios flash, it must cost money. So who's loaning them their studio? As we can see, the studio lighting in this is pretty cool, and they're obviously using green screens. Right. So let's go to full screen. Let's listen to Mr. H and watch his presence. And I do believe this is Mr. H number one. Many people have inquired about my identity and why I chose to wear a mask at all times of blockchain technology. It is tough to mention blockchain without touching on the subject of Bitcoin, which ushered a great era into our lives and sanctuary from the ensuing violence. Now we get to see his shoes as well. Uh, yep, yeah, I like patent leather shoes, just saying, I love them. Um, he looks like he's wearing shiny shoes, but I wouldn't say they were patent leather. Uh, the style of pants he's wearing... Um, he's not wearing bell bottoms <laughs> and they're quite tapered so that would help us with the tailoring of the suit there is a future for humanity and that future lies I am you I am everyone I am those who reach out to embrace the life altering potential that sound like something that they're reading from the bible just saying but this is where he sways around a little bit I think and the gloves he's got a texture on the gloves yeah, and is this, everything else is looking pretty cool. He hasn't got the big pockets anymore. Uh, has he got buttons on the sleeves? He's got a pocket on the front. No handkerchief, so it's not English. ...of blockchain technology. I am an ideology. Undying, immortal, perpetual. 
and I have given up my wealth and honor. So why would he give up his wealth and honor? Is if it is Sam Zhu, sorry, Ryan Zhu, <laughs> get that wrong quite often if you haven't noticed. Um, is he insinuating he's Ryan Zhu? Is he insinuating that Ryan Zhu has gone into hiding? No one's seen him for nine months. He's disappeared, right? Blockchain Global, which they used to squawk about like being the hero company, they took off with $50 million of Australians investors' money after they got listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. At the same time, you've got a company that they're all in bed with called Colin, um, not Colin Star, that was another group. We've got Hyper Tech Group and Ryan Zhu, which was claimed to be worth billions of dollars and he was going to bail everyone out, which he hasn't done yet, obviously, because everyone's complained they haven't been paid their money that they promised them to get their initial investment back, blah, 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 and let's not get started on that. This is all about Mr. H anyway. But uh, are they insinuating that the, the Ryan Jew is this guy? Because they're saying he's given up his wealth. Uh, I think it's a load of twat. What well, is it, a load of twat? To see to it that hypernation becomes a resilient system where single node failures simply cannot... So he's basically taking the human man out of it so that um, there can't be any mistake, and we're basically making the whole world run on AI. And so far, it's going appallingly. Exist. This is the basic principle on which a blockchain system functions, a principle that ensures centralized control does not happen. Okay, I just want to go on about the big, big words they use around blockchain... Everything they use here bamboozles people. If you don't understand what you're doing and you don't follow the jargon, then don't believe a friend or a family member who says they've done their research. And they throw in the blockchain. Blockchain's got nothing to do with hibernation. Basically, they're selling memberships. That's the only income stream. So that's a Ponzi scheme. They rely on membership money to pay rewards. Um, the rewards are 300%, maybe 400% return on your investment. That is ridiculous. The richest man in the world does not get that much return on his investments. So how can some little crap company or made up organization or group of people claim that they can give you that much return on their investment? It's stupid. No one in the world has ever made a company give that much return on investment in such a short period of time without a product or service. Basically a theory. They haven't even got a white paper. They're talking about releasing a white paper in three or four months and that's the plan on how they're going to make the money out of this thing. And then two or three months after that, in this very presentation, they're going to produce the yellow paper, which is like the basically the sign-off to build the house. Sort of, that's what the finalised. And they haven't even got that. So this whole lot is a hype. It's hyping, them, giving you carrots. There's no way in the world. A lot of the people have diversified at the moment and decided to jump out of the hypernation and the hyperverse and go off to um, Novatech Group and also WeWe.Global. There are two, uh, two other massive Ponzi schemes going at the moment. If you go back and look at one of my videos, you'll see I did a video all about um, uh, hypertech, uh, Novatech, and hypernation going head to head versus each other. And um, yeah, basically, just stay away from anything that encourages you to use your crypto to buy a membership, and you're going to get unrealistic returns in your uh, with um, uh, unrealistic returns for your investment, which isn't an investment, and they're not financial advisors. I'm getting sidetracked, let's carry on. Undeniably, blockchain technology and its offshoot, digital currency, are the catalyst for the social and financial revolution that is bound to occur in the near future. However, we must note that all revolutions will not be smooth sailing. As succinctly summed up by Nietzsche, those who don't kill me make me stronger. That's in the Bible. They're using Bible um, undertones all the way through this. I'm going to vomit. I'm going to shoot myself in the face. For this great revolution to take place, it will require the part... Now he's swaying around like a gypsy, and he's got his arms folded, which is something I haven't seen him do before. Anticipation of all the enlightened people from across the globe. You must look into yourself and recognize this strength within you which lies dormant. But I do think this is Mr. H number one. For far too long. You are Mr. H. Everyone has the potential to be Mr. H. That's why the hell we don't know who he is, because you are Mr. H, and I have the potential to be Mr. H. yippee yay yay Our collective efforts will usher in a new and beautiful future, and we are all part of this glorious historical progress of mankind. 
All of this cannot be achieved without blockchain technology, the greatest invention of mankind in the 21st century, and the continuous personalization of power solidifies. I am Mr. H. You ask me, what is behind this mask? See, that mask there looks like the money heist mask. So I reckon these guys decided to start watching Netflix and they watched Money Heist and then they thought, I oh, know, we'll, we'll wear a mask and we'll use the same, because it's very similar, you know, the the flow of what they're doing and Money Heist, if you haven't watched that, watch it, it's the best one ever. So you've got um, Squid Games and Money Heist that are two top, they're probably in the top five Netflix um, documentary and movies ever, are brilliant. Um, but these guys have obviously pa trying to pass off that because that mask he's holding up at the moment it's very much like Money Heist Mask. Mask. I am more than flesh. He's more than flesh. I am an idea. I am an idea. The Alpha and the Omega. Sounds like John something or other. And ideas are bulletproof. Every cloud has a silver lining. And as we travel through this dark tunnel, the light at the end. What would you do if you saw Mr. H walking down the street looking like that? Would you think you're about to get robbed? Well, you are. If you get invested in hibernation, you are going to get robbed. This is what a modern-day bank robber looks like. Is becoming more and more visible. That light is hibernation. We will remove the divide between the rich and poor, putting an end to discrimination. Oh, that's in the Bible. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And the end of the, uh, the when the sign of the time um, is that. Is that Matthew 24, 14? Oh my God, do I still remember that? Nation, we will break the shackles of slavery and overturn the status quo. I didn't know we were enslaved. Apparently we're all slaves. Creating an equal world where people are defined by the efforts they put into their lives and not by factors beyond their control, such as race, family income, and status. At Hyper Nation, no one decides what you get since the economy runs freely and is determined by the majority agreement. All these can only happen through blockchain technology, the core that powers HyperNation's economic consensus. It is through this very novel design and astuteness in tokenomics that HyperNation is able to provide universal basic income to its citizens. Boom, it's the perfect world. I tell you, I'm signing up, mate. I'm a failed businessman and I need to sign up to be Hyper Nation, don't I? And then I'll be successful. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Here, everyone is entitled to a fixed monthly stipend, regardless of their condition. Stipend is basically like a welfare package that you get every week. It's great. It's good. Everyone's going to be the same. If you Now, the, the funny thing about this, what he's about to tell you to do, that's why I'm playing this, is to sign up and buy a membership package because this is a circus performance and these are all actors and they're entertaining you in costumes they've got all the stage gear they've got all the masks and on a tuesday night you'll get one mr h on a wednesday night you'll get another mr h and so forth and so forth and so forth but the whole circus performance is there to sell tickets and the tickets are the membership planned don't be bamboozled by the use of this technology that they haven't got any there's no hibernation there's no other world to go to. Follow Elon Musk. He's going to Mars. There's more chances that he's going to get to Mars than hypernation finding the golden ticket. The provision of UBI allows citizens to pursue their freedom and self-actualization without being burdened by their daily needs. But that is not all. The eternal universe is another concept that hypernation embraces. Right, now he's going to start talking about coins and tokens, and I'm going to give my two cents worth here as well, sorry to say, simply because I don't understand crypto too much. I'm not against crypto by no means, but I, I want to let you know that these guys, I'll let, them, I'll let them carry on for a bit. Using the mature blockchain technology, citizens can create, modify, and customize the virtual space at will, creating many parallel universes to suit our desires. The concept of land trading and real estate building will be forever changed by this concept. Imagine the seamless integration between GameFi and SocialFi creating a holistic living experience like no other. To keep it simple, the possibilities are limited to only your creativity. Actually, they're limited to how much money you invest in hibernation. They have... NFTs, they're selling you that you cannot sell because they are passport. Quite clever. That means you're buying a worthless NFT. The whole purpose of NFTs 
was to make a non-fungible token worth the value that somebody else may be prepared to buy it off you, and that's how you gain the value. Other than that, if no one's able to buy your NFT off you, who sets the value? No one. Where are NFTs stored? Uh, question A, on the blockchain. Question B, on a hard drive. Question C, um, ooh, um, on your computer. Question D, don't know. Well, would you be surprised they're actually stored on hard drives? People say that they're stored on the blockchain, but if NFTs were stored on the blockchain, there's terabytes and terabytes of data, and it's too expensive to maintain. The blockchain is very expensive. So how come they can... So the address of where your NFT lives is what is stored on the blockchain. So when the world do, uh, falls over and doom and gloom is everywhere, as Pinnacle Nark says, then who's going to power these computers that run the blockchain? Who's going to fund them? So the race at the moment, from what I've done after doing over 120 plus videos, I believe that Sam Jew originally was starving cash and trying to keep the mining going. And that's where the money is. He's mining Bitcoin. And, he's, and then Bitcoin's died and he just wants to keep the money going so he can keep mining for Bitcoins. And if you follow, you know, WeWe.Global and Novatech, there's 50 other companies I've got a list of, they're all offering mining. So you can become a miner yourself. I'll give you a little bit of an example of that, not to go on too much. I've got a friend and he does his own mining. And I said, wow, how did you get into that? And he said, well, he built up a computer. He got some really good graphics cards. He said... He said his power bill per month is around about $4,000 and it gives him around about $8,000 worth of crypto he mines each month. So he makes $4,000 a month from mining, but his power bill is $4,000 and also the hardware that he uses cost. he said everything that he used to buy to build up a beefy computer is now really expensive as well. Now that might sound good, but with the crash of crypto dropping, I don't know, 40-50%, it is now not sustainable for him to continue mining for crypto until the you know until crypto starts getting more and more value again so there you go so this is what i believe is happening at the moment is if ryan Zhu is still related to hypernation which we've never heard of and sam lee we haven't heard this and uh, we haven't had anyone else that um you know bitcoin rodney a lot of these people aren't connected to hypernation anymore so it can't sustain itself. And I've lost my train of thought. So I'm going to go back. Um, it can't sustain itself. And I've, I was too tired. It's midnight. In conjunction with its efforts in research and development, HyperNation also upholds education and aspires to become the largest repository for knowledge in the virtual realm. From here, HyperNation seeks to disseminate accurate and vital information to the public and achieve consensus. Are you looking to participate in Hypernation? Here comes the ticket sales. You will find entry seamless and unobstructed by bureaucratic red tapes. Yeah, easy to get in. It's like Hotel California. You can check in, but you can never leave. Speaking of participation, every citizen in Hypernation has important civic responsibilities to fulfill. It is only fair that we bring more people into Hypernation to share and enjoy this fair world of limitless possibilities. Note that HyperNation has also created the HNT and HND stable coin to... Rightio, so let's look at HNT, HyperNation token. Now, this is pump and dump. Every single token that has been associated with Hyper um, Capital, Hyper Fund, Hyperverse, and now HyperNation has been pumped and dumped. And this, these tokens are disgusting. Basically... They can set the value of a token. If I have it right, I may have it wrong. And don't shoot me if I get it wrong. But the principle is the same. They set the value of the token. So let's say you decide they put a million tokens on the market. And they buy, put a label on these tokens saying they're worth $5 each. Then they start pumping them by getting everyone to sign up and buy these tokens. Now, to buy a token, you basically need to become a member. And then you'll get your tokens. I think that's how it works. And then what they do is the value of those tokens go up. So those $5 tokens, now maybe potentially they could be worth $12. Then 
Then what they do is they put the half the tokens that they've stored under their bed, so to speak, on the market for, let's say, $8. Everyone goes, oh my God, these tokens have been selling for $12. Let's rush in and buy them at $8. Then all of a sudden, all the people that paid $12 or $15 for them, whatever it is, they're all stuck with these. They've paid too much for their tokens. And then everyone panics and they withdraw their tokens and they chuck them all out. And then that's what's happened with all the other tokens. So then those tokens are worth nothing. So and the other thing is when you sign up for Hypernation, you buy $400 USDT for a membership and this turns into $1,200 Hypernation dollars. Now listen, the dollars... It gets worse. Let them carry on for a bit. Power this very unique economy. The HND is a blockchain algorithmic stablecoin that aims to maintain the value of one HND to one dollar through a mint burn mechanism. Right. So what he's basically saying is they want to keep this coin worth the same value as the USDT coin, which is unheard of. And they're going to do this mint to burn thing, basically saying that they're going to mine because it's all about mining. They're going to mine for this coin that doesn't exist yet to keep its value, um, keep the value of it up to the same level as USDT. This is total shit, rubbish, bullshit propaganda, and people think this sounds legit. It is bullshit. On the other hand, the HNT acts as a utility and governance token for users to perform staking in a series of decentralized... Now, the cream on the, the, the icing on the cake, the cherry on top is that you've heard of Binance and you've heard of Crypto.com, uh, sorry, Crypto.com and also other ones like um, Coinbase. If, is there a reason, and if Novotel, sorry, Novotech Group are the same, they're not on these exchanges. And the reason why they can't get on these exchanges is because it's a Ponzi scheme and they're crooks. And these exchanges will not let them on. So if you're watching the latest videos about Hyper Nation and Hyperverse, they're telling you that they don't need to be on an exchange and they can run it in-house. And this is even worse because the Who exchange fell over and they're unstable. But this is even worse because they're using their in-house back-end um, sites to look after your money. So it's like going to a bank in the middle of the Sahara Desert and thinking that they've got all the infrastructure and the security that main, um, main banks have when it's not connected to anything. So basically, as soon as you put your crypto in, it goes into somebody's crypto wallet. We don't know who. And there's a Tron scan that they do. And basically, you can see the transactions that are happening on the exchange. Uh, and when that was happening, when they were plugged into an exchange, you could see a whole billion dollars because there's meant to be a billion and a half i've forgotten all the figures but basically there was a big massive wallop of one transaction was sucked out of hypernation and they could see it in the tron scan and basically that was the thievery going on all right so let's carry on we'll be here all night otherwise staking pools within the network like it or not we are all being ushered into the age of the metaverse by this inexorable advancement in technology our old jobs become antiquated. Nation states crumble under the weight of their own inefficiency. Money, or more specifically, value, is driven underground into the virtual realm. As the scare tactics world changes, we will scramble to find safety and sanctuary from the Oh my god, doom and gloom, Pinnacky Nark, you're loving this. Ensuing violence. There is a future for humanity. Well, lucky us, eh? And that future You're just Basically being told the world's ending. Armageddon is nigh. Lies with hyper nation. Oh my God. Oh, well, that was that. Um, so in short, basically the start of this video, we were basically saying, who is Mr. H? Well, Mr. H, from my research, my forensic um, private investigation has shown that Mr. H could be four people. And I've, Suggested we looked at all the different mannerisms, his stance, the way he sways around the stage, use of presence, you know, pitch modulation, whatever. Is he an AI? He could be an AI. But I think there's a few things for sure. Mr. H doesn't care about you and your money. Danny DeHeck does. So please do hit the like button 
and get this video out to the masses. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up and all that sort of stuff. Now what I'm going to do is I talk a lot and there will be timestamps in the description of this video. And I will actually put the video that I used in the little screen up here, I'll actually put that back to the start and I'll, I'll plug it in so you can watch it all the way from the start to finish without Mr. De Heck interrupting you. Now, what I'd like you to do is find anything that I've missed. What do you think? Who do you think Mr. H is? Let me know in the comment section. Tell me who you think Mr. H is. I mean, an easy guess could be Stephen Rees Lewis, but everything I've watched about Stephen Rees Lewis doesn't look like him. It doesn't look like the same guy. Stephen Rees Lewis looked like he had a carrot up his ass. You know, it doesn't work. And he, he read a teleprompter worse than me. So, okay, so who's the next person? Is it Sam Lee? Well, I did come out with a couple of words there that did sound like it was Sam Lee's voice. And when I'm listening to the voices, I did sort of hear four different voices, to be honest. And now they're dig digitizing the voices. Soon they will have um, voices like I use. Now, if you're not familiar with what I use, this is what I use to read my emails. Exposing Hypernation's Mr. H, person behind the mask revealed, Forensic Private Investigation, FPI. So if I was to highlight that paragraph, so... After watching so many videos, I can see that being edited different, either they're learning on the job or they have a team of people. Are they outsourcing or in-house? How big is the team? Yeah, so why didn't they use a voice that was consistent all the way through if they are using AI? Or are they learning as they go? Okay, try to answer some of the questions for me. You know, are they recording from a studio? If so, what type of studio would be able to accommodate a company like this? Are they doing it in-house? Where are their offices based? Is it in Malaysia? Is it in India? Is it in America? Is it in Dubai where Kalpish Patel is? Don't know. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I will play the video in its entirety at the end. I pressed stop before I'd finished talking, so you didn't get the end of it. So sorry about that. So I've added a little bit at the end, which I hate doing because it just takes more time. I hate editing. Anyway, I will now play the full clip of all the Mr. H's videos that I went through this afternoon so I could look for anything that would help identify who the real Mr. H is. If you see anything, you let me know uh, in the comment section below. Have a great night, morning, night, morning, evening. There's been see ya. growing concerns over the decline of democracy. And some countries are increasingly unsatisfied with how democracy is working. In that humans are at the top of the food chain or that we have the mandate to claim all of Earth's resources and that all other species are simply food for our table. You feel the unfairness permeating the world, although we all seem to put in an equal amount of effort. Some people can just easily gain power. The General Assembly of the United Nations adopted a milestone document aimed at safeguarding the fundamental hypernation advocates justice, fairness, and transparency which fully embodies the principles of decentralized finance. And I am Mr. H. You can say that I am an evangelist in the New World Order, or maybe even a guide that helps you to illustrate the truth. But it may be more appropriate to say that I am the person you used to be. Just like many of you, I used to obey the oppressive rules of society in order to survive. Sure. That was more. Now, let me elaborate more. Hypernation is an entire nation, so there are plenty of wonderful activities held within. Now, where do we start? Since hypernation is big on world building, when traversing the metaverse, we do it in style. Mr. H is the chief ambassador of hypernations. His background is in marketing, fintech, and business growth. He Thank you for having me. It is an absolute honor to be invited to speak here today. Be it the Great Recession of 1932, the financial crisis in 2008, this seems to be the case in both socialistic and capitalistic countries. It's simple. All they have to do is head straight to www.hypernation.io to register for the whitelist. Thank you. ...focuses on the core idea of economic consensus. An economic system should not be under the control of any entity or individual. 
and no one should dictate what you rightfully do. Nation firmly believes that blockchain technology can achieve the principles of fairness, justice, and openness that form the basis of human rights. And Hypernation has a lofty built on the blockchain to bring you the best investment experience with results that are fair, equitable, and open. Blockchain allows anyone to participate on an even playing ground. Its consensus mechanism ensures that there are no While we generally only associate it with digital currencies, blockchain technology is more than that. As blockchain technology continues to mature, more digital currencies with varying utility have been created. UBI. In the blossoming world of blockchain technology, Hypernation has chosen to adopt the concept of UBI as its foundational core, upholding an important point mentioned in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. A wave of automation, and the result is a gradual erosion of employment opportunities as manual labor gets replaced by machines. Blockchain has reached the point where we can choose a new way of life. Hypernation uses NFTs as proof of citizenship to create a utopian world where every citizen can reach any country at will without going through tedious custom processes as in real life. Slavery may have officially ended on December 8, 1865, but did it ever truly end? Slavery is all around us. The rich get richer, while the rest of us slips further and further down into the ways of economic decline. Problems of tomorrow can often be solved by the wisdom of the past. Looking back, we can observe the Greeks who were once the pinnacle of human civilization. They owe it to all great minds who debated tough questions in the Agora of Athens, also known as the birthplace of democracy. Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. We are all aware of existing defects within our social structure, which is prevalent even in first world countries. This is an extremely controversial topic, perhaps even rightfully so, our social status affects multiple facets of our lives. From our ability to access quality healthcare, can you feel the magic in the air? Right now, as we advance towards a new age of information technology, it is hard not to marvel at the endless possibilities that it can confer. While some of us are excited about this change, many more are fearful of it, and for good reasons. There are many disadvantages that can arise in this new age. Mankind is complicated. It is full of glory and triumph, but there are also plenty of events that may make you uncomfortable. A brief study of our history will show you many momentous milestones. From our early days of nomadic gap, the world around us has never been shaped by blood and violence. Never has a day gone by without us hearing about crime, corruption, war, and famine being reported on the news. We live life feeling secure because these tragedies happened far away from us and waited outside the school for an hour while the shooter was slaughtering innocent kids within. Technology has always been the catalyst for change. Look towards the Catholic Church that held dominion over the Middle Ages thanks to their monopoly over scriptures and information. Their power waned when the printing press was invented as the mass production of virtualization and realize your true potential in the lands beyond. Built on the foundations of blockchain. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. H, Hypernation's ambassador. The topic we're going to discuss today may make you a little uncomfortable. In our daily lives, democracy and nationality are among the most complicated and difficult. Even though politicians and idealists all talk about economic freedom and equality, the distribution of resources. I'm Mr. H, Hypernation's official ambassador. The topic we'll be discussing today is the analysis of politics in the information age and sell the country out to the highest bidder just to line their pockets, which would often result in a weakened country plagued with low economic... Hi everyone, I'm Mr. H, Hypernation's publicity ambassador. Today we're going to discuss the topic of beyond geographical confinement, the rise of the internet economy. Only then can we make full use of the achievements of other civilizations to grow and create a comprehensive interdependence relationship between every participant in this nation, have a practical connection with the production of the whole world, and can obtain the ability to utilize this comprehensive... Hi everyone, I'm Mr. H, Hypernation's Publicity Ambassador. Today we're going to discuss the topic of Twilight of Democracy. Democracy is about distributing the power of the dominator. The result is that every democracy will eventually collapse due to easy fiscal policy 
and be replaced by authoritarian regimes that follow. Prophet nor a doomsayer. But I am certain that blood and fire lies ahead, and the threat is growing by the day. The world is progressing towards a scenario reminiscent of the financial crisis are clashing with the government, and will provide a comprehensive suite of applications and tools required to help you expand on your creativity and transcend your mortal limitations. In the past, we talked about how there would be major changes in the job and billionaires attain their wealth by being lucky? No, the fact is that they recognize when opportunities are in front of them and leverage their skills. This is Mr. H, ambassador of Hypernation. Today we will discuss the theme of globalization and how different nations have achieved it to varying degrees of success. All individuals will be able to act in accordance to their own will and achieve greatness like never. This is Mr. H, the publicity ambassador of Hypernation. Today, we will discuss the topic of power decomposition and the law of diminishing marginal return in the wrong positions and send the best people to the most common tasks, even if all the work can be achieved within the expected but often cannot play the best production want. Only by reaching an agreement can we fully exercise the right to supervise and participate. Plug the corrupt for the human soul to crave spiritual peace something that cannot be attained as long as the world remains divided by imaginary borders. As long as borders exist, humanity will continue. This is Mr. H, ambassador of Hypernation. Today we will discuss the theme of globalization and how different nations have achieved it to varying degrees of success. Before we begin, what is globalization? Well, it is a term used to describe... Hi, I'm Mr. H. Ambassador for Hypernation. Today, we will discuss the theme of hegemonism. Hegemony is the political, economic, and military predominance of one state. Corruption, social divides, and fear will cease to exist to confront inequalities that have infiltrated every aspect of our lives. For the most part, income inequality has increased in most hypernation. It's a special nation that exists to promote egalitarianism for the benefit of all. Class, race, or gender shall no longer impede your rights. The virtual foundations of this great nation are built on a tough goal to achieve. Since young, we have been brainwashed by the media that capitalism built the nation from the ground up through community governance and economic consensus and we shall marvel as corrupt politics and evil capitalism cease to human greed is the cause of all our sufferings yes the old to hunt down dangerous predators for self-preservation is this a dream or a reality in the making the utopia you seek exists it is alive and even thriving hypernation incorporates collectivism as I note the subtle rot that runs deep within belief that the true path to peace and prosperity is paved by self the Christian phrase love thy neighbors takes on a bigger meaning here think about this hello everyone this is Mr. H ambassador of hypernation today we are going to discuss a controversial topic can human rights and capitalism ever be compatible capitalism is the de facto social model in most parts of the world. We need a way to take care of the marginalized and hypernation presents the perfect way to do so. Look at the world we are living right now. Owning a house seems to be nothing more than a pipe dream with housing prices far beyond what we can afford. A hallmark feature of hypernation. We do not subscribe that competition can be done in a healthier manner for the optimal development of society. We may not see it, but the world we know is shifting slowly towards totalitarianism. These are but the first few casualties in a world that is becoming more and more controlled. But why is this and tyrants will not exist within the decentralized system of hypernation? When everyone has a voice in the system, everyone has the power to change their destiny. When no one is in control, everyone is in control. Think about that. Hello, everyone. This is Mr. H, Ambassador of Hypernation. Today, we are going to discuss the theme of colonization. 
to keep the colonized nations permanently dependent on it. Independence has been returned to this previously colonized with regards to manufacturing, construction, to distribute resources and knowledge equally, giving everyone will be able to participate and learn in multiple roles. In hypernation, all individuals will get fair and impartial treatment in all aspects, economics, resources, and even right. The bourgeois is equivalent to the middle or upper middle class. Power because we have no control over the means of production, our livelihood depending entirely on the labor about it. We finally realize that our status in society is simply determined by the opportunity and control over these resources. A natural tendency to submit to a higher authority. It is time to do away at this unfair treatment order. We understand that everyone should be treated equally as autonomous individuals with our own lives, lifestyles. Development and some people, such as Robert Owen, for real, and Song Simon recognize this naturally as a phenomenon that will not be seen in hypernation, whose transparency makes it impossible for deception to exist among everyone. This virtues of utopian socialism is its harsh and thorough condemnation of the capitalism system. This criticism highlights the faults of capitalism and highlights the need for change. We live in a society that is with inequality. Is this not a testimony to the humanness of our capitalist society? Are we not exploited by them? But here comes the important question. How long will we stay established do without the meddling of the capitalist class to enrich our lives? Take for example, self-actualization. If you seek liberation from the drudgery of working life, then hypernation is... Undoubtedly, many people have inquired about my identity and why I chose to wear a mask at all times of blockchain technology. It is tough to mention blockchain without touching on the subject of Bitcoin, which ushered a great era into our lives and sanctuary from the ensuing violence. There is a future for humanity, and that future lies. I am you. I am everyone. I am those who reach out to embrace the life-altering potential of blockchain technology. I am an ideology, undying, immortal, perpetual. And I have given up my wealth and honor to see to it that hypernation becomes a resilient system where single-node failures simply cannot exist. This is the basic principle on which a blockchain system functions, a principle that ensures centralized control does not happen. Undeniably, blockchain technology and its offshoot, digital currency, are the catalyst for the social and financial revolution that is bound to occur in the near future. However, we must note that all revolutions will not be smooth sailing. As succinctly summed up by Nietzsche, those who don't kill me make me stronger. For this great revolution to take place, it will require the participation of all the enlightened people from across the globe. You must look into yourself and recognize this strength within you, which lies dormant for far too long. You are Mr. H. Everyone has the potential to be Mr. H. Our collective efforts will usher in a new and beautiful future. And we are all part of this glorious, historical progress of mankind. All of this cannot be achieved without blockchain technology, the greatest invention of mankind in the 21st century. And the continuous personalization of power solidifies. I am Mr. H. You ask me, what is behind this mask? I am more than flesh. I am an idea. And ideas are bulletproof. Every cloud has a silver lining, and as we travel through this dark tunnel, the light at the end is becoming more and more visible. That light is hypernation. We will remove the divide between the rich and poor, putting an end to discrimination. We will break the shackles of slavery and overturn the status quo, creating an equal world where people are defined by the efforts they put into their lives and not by factors beyond their control, such as race family income, and status. At hypernation, no one decides what you get, since the economy runs freely and is determined by the majority agreement. All these can only happen through blockchain technology, the core that powers hypernation's economic consensus. 
It is through this very novel design and astuteness in tokenomics that Hypernation is able to provide universal basic income to its citizens. Here, everyone is entitled to a fixed monthly stipend, regardless of their condition. The provision of UBI allows citizens to pursue their freedom and self-actualization without being burdened by their daily needs. But that is not all. The eternal universe is another concept that Hypernation embraces. Using the mature blockchain technology, citizens can create, modify, and customize the virtual space at will, creating many parallel universes to suit our desires. The concept of land trading and real estate building will be forever changed by this concept. Imagine the seamless integration between GameFi and SocialFi creating a holistic living experience like no other. To keep it simple, the possibilities are limited to only your creativity. In conjunction with its efforts in research and development, Hypernation also upholds education and aspires to become the largest repository for knowledge in the virtual realm. From here, Hypernation seeks to disseminate accurate and vital information to the public and achieve consensus. Are you looking to participate in Hypernation? You will find entry seamless and unobstructed by bureaucratic red tapes. Speaking of participation, every citizen in Hypernation has important civic responsibilities to fulfill. It is only fair that we bring more people into Hypernation to share and enjoy this fair world of limitless possibilities. Note that Hypernation has also created the HNT and HND stable coin to power this very unique economy. The HND is a blockchain algorithmic stablecoin that aims to maintain the value of one HND to one dollar through a mint burn mechanism. On the other hand, the HNT acts as a utility and governance token for users to perform staking in the series of decentralized staking pools within the network. Like it or not, we are all being ushered into the age of the metaverse by this inexorable advancement in technology. Our old jobs become antiquated. Nation-states crumble under the weight of their own inefficiency. Money, or more specifically, value, is driven underground into the virtual realm. As the world changes, we will scramble to find safety and sanctuary from the ensuing violence. There is a future for humanity, and that future lies with hypernation. <laughs>